Motherland be Motherland, Motherland, Motherland be Hello my honeymakers, so I just finished with an audition for an ad campaign. It was a lot of fun. It was quick, it was a lot of fun. But now it's time to head home. Can you believe that the last vlog was 30? Like I cannot believe that I've been doing this for that long. But it's cool though. Fun auditions. I'm in Hyde Park right now, trying to pass the time because I have another meeting in, I guess, an hour, an hour or 52 minutes to be exact. So, yeah, Hyde Park. This is my favorite mall next to Sandton because um, it's just so chill, it's nice, you know, it's got nice stuff. Not everybody's always here so it's a nice I mean for somebody who doesn't like shopping I like it when there's not a lot of people so it's easier for me to look around the reason why there's a smile on my face is because I see this that's any girl's like favorite thing cosmetic gallery just cosmetics baby so I might get myself some lipstick or something you know mama's leaving for Cape Town there she goes she's leaving me all by myself luckily she knows that I'm a good child I won't throw any parties but now I get to drive her car and play my music okay guys I'm going back home I only slept at like 5, so I might go back to sleep, who knows. Bye mama. Hi love you. I'm out here in Forest Hill Mall for the first time. It's such a nice mall, I'm helping Monty search for an outfit for a wedding. Yes, she's not going with me to the wedding, but I'm helping her none of it. We're in a store called Vogue. Let's see the dress. This is a nice store. I think mom will like this store. I mean, look at this. They've got that um, Princess Diana vibe thing that I like. Look at this. Yes. Check out the cuteness. We're lost. <laughs> we are lost. <laughs> We're lost. We are lost. <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> this mall is so huge. It goes around in a circle. And that's all we've been doing. We're lost. <laughs> Let's just sleep here. Let's just sleep here. We're lost. <laughs> Why would they do this to a Mercedes? Why? Looking like a hearse. Why? 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 Hi guys. Yes, I know I look like I've been trampled by goats. I'm sick. Okay, yes, I'm sick. I've got a cold. I shouldn't have gone out yesterday, but I did. Speaking of yesterday, <laughs> despite us getting lost, the parking ticket machine decided to swallow our ticket. So it was a whole thing. We had to go look for the managers or whatever. Is it the manager? I don't know what she was. 
and pay a hefty fine for losing the ticket even though the machine swallowed the ticket but I wasn't gonna go get in an argument with somebody who clearly is just set in her ways but oh uh, yeah I'm sick <laughs> And I miss my mom, and it's such a gloomy day. I was going to go out today, but I can't because it's like, <sighs> I feel so horrible. But <laughs> that doesn't mean a damn thing in the working world. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing hacker research on... Um, I'm doing hacker research on writing proposals because here's the tea. I got a job. I got another writing job um, starting on Monday. <laughs> yes, at a production company. High five. High five. High five. High five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, the, I'm going to help them um, develop scripts because... That's what I do, you know. I'm all about the script writing, you know what I'm saying? But then they also want me to write proposals, which I I don't know how to write proposals. I have got no idea. So I'm gonna research, you know, fake it till you make it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be doing that today and <sighs> chilling. No, I won't be chilling because whenever I don't know something, I go all out to learn how to do it so I'm not gonna be chilling I'm gonna be looking at proposals practicing also on the side and that's gonna be hours and hours of that so yeah I hope y'all Saturday was better than mine I hope y'all turned up I hope y'all had fun with your friends and your family and all that good stuff happy Sunday y'all Trust y'all have a blessed, blessed Sunday. I'm pretty chill today, you know. Can't wait for my mama to get home. It's not nice when she's not here, but she'll be home later. Anyway, let's do this. Keep calm and trust God. Okay. What it says today is, when a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer. Oh yes, when a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer. Meaning, when you are going through some troubled times, As you were going through some great times, God is still there. Trust in God. As the title of the book says, keep calm and trust God. You can't want to, to, to jump ship as soon as things get bad, right? You're going you're gonna to drown, right? Trust in God that he'll sort out everything and all will be good. Um... I think I'll just have to go prepare my car for tomorrow, make sure that it's got petrol, that the tires are okay, and yada, 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 fish paste, all of that. And then I guess we'll do Sunday lunch. I don't know if the cooking is done already. If it's not, then I'll cook. But it's all good. It's all good. Hey, I'm trying out purple eyeliner. Can you see it? does something I just wanted to try on Sunday you know just to see how it how it is do you like it it's purple eyeliner <laughs> gotta try new things every now and then you know can't just be all boring every day so yeah so I am cooking and um, I'm making chicken still cooking Yes, I'm in love with chicken. Chicken is awesome. I'm going to put it in the oven when it's done here. And then I've got brown rice in there. Then there's salad. That's just butter leaves, tomato, and feta cheese.
that's it and I've got some other vegetables there's butternut and sweet potato in the microwave yeah therapeutic stuff happening here you know I didn't know that I was gonna be cooking today but I'm glad I am and I'll show you when it's done I'm at the train station now the subway and I'm waiting for mom to come I'm so excited Oh, you have got you guys just have no idea what it's like when mom is not here. It just feels just super uncomfortable. So I'm waiting for her to come. Fetching her. She's gonna go home. I cooked nice food. I forgot to show you. Oh my bad. Um I'll show you when I dish up for dinner. If I do. Well I'll show you mom's plate. But yeah. Can't wait to see mama. Guess who's back? Yeah. Back again. Cape Town is good. Mm -hmm. In spite of the fire. I went to the side where there was no fire. So it was good. It was good seeing my son. And it's good being back home again to see my little girl. Yes, so remember I told you I was going to show you what I made. It's not everything on the plate, but I made roast sticky chicken. And that's a salad. Some other vegetables, but I'm not having them. Did a good job, even if I say so myself. So, mommy has a little story, a little funny story about her experience in the hotel that she stayed in. Tell us, mom. <laughs> You're not going to believe what happened this morning. Mm -hmm. So, then we were at breakfast, and I was like, okay, you know, they have this buffet breakfast. Mm -hmm. So, I dished up and I, they served these, you know, very, very dark, very thin sausages. Mm, beef sausage. Oh, uh, supposedly. <laughs> so, okay, I took them, um, went down to sit down and eat, and I didn't quite like the way they tasted. So I just ate half. I had three little strips. Mm. You know, these are very thin, very dark, very unsightly sausages. <laughs> so I took just half of it, and I didn't quite like how it tasted, so I put it on the side plate. Mm. took some bacon and had that instead with my eggs and everything so our waiter this guy you know over friendly guy very you know over friendly we're always always, always very, over friendly. we know like he was just too much but anyway when he came to the table my daughter my your sister had left to go pick up something so i was left alone at the table so minding uh, your own business <laughs> then this guy came and i is everything i said okay what is what is this? Is it what what meat is this? And he says, It's a sausage. I said, No, it's fine, I can see it's a sausage, but what <laughs> animal is it? And then this guy just decided to pick up my sausage and started eating it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, But you're eating my sausage. <laughs> and people you know, the next table were looking and they were just like, Wow, everyone was in shock. And I was shocked too. I kept on saying, But you're eating my sausage. <laughs> I I think I must have said it twice. Then he said, "Yeah, I just want to taste. Hello, to tell you what it is." I'm Are like, you "Mad? You eating my sausage?" <laughs> and after after two bites, he's like, "I think it's beef," and he put it back on my plate. I'm like, "You just ate my okay? Just finish it." And he's like, "No, I was just tasting, and I think it's beef." I'm like, wow. <laughs> Wow. Shame, Mom. <laughs> I was in such shock. I couldn't, I didn't know how to, I mean, I was like, okay, you can take everything. I don't want to eat anymore. And then he went and, you know, like totally unperturbed, you know, just like, well, I was just tasting. <laughs> like my friend, I was just tasting. <laughs> like my friend, I was just tasting. <laughs> a whole waiter at a, at a so-called five-star hotel in Stellenbosch. Oh, sorry, I was, wow. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> these over friendly waiters. Like, he was just like, How oh, friend, I'll, let me just taste from no, you. He ate it. And really? then he put it back on the plate. Who does guy. that? <laughs> and he says, I think it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> and like, went about his business. And he just went about, I'm like, Okay. <laughs> and the lady at the next table was like, Well, I guess he had to taste to tell you what it is. But she was, I mean, they were shocked. Amused and everything, you know, all at the same time. Like, what <laughs> oh, in shame, the world Mom. just happened? You, you must know? have been so cute when it happened. I was like, what happened? You know, this is what people do. 
you know, being over friendly. And we always get over friendly waiters. Can you imagine somebody just picking up something from your plate, biting and be like, ah, here you go. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's beef, but here you go. Now we're sharing germs and stuff. Came up. Look at <laughs> She's still <laughs> shocked. No, really. <laughs> Do I, Shame do, him. do I tell them which hotel this is? No. <laughs> we're not going to reveal the hotel. We're just saying, stop being over friendly waiters. If, just ah. because we're smiling <laughs> doesn't mean that we know each other what like that. So, the first day of work is done and dusted. I am like, oh my gosh, my head is pounding. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Listen, I am not complaining. I'm not because it was a really really lovely day and my boss is like the best boss you could ever ask for um very creative you know creative minds in the same room it's it's a lovely lovely thing and i i miss being in that in that type of room like when i was um at the new york film academy and we were in the writer's room well when we're workshopping our scripts with creative minds flowing i miss that a lot and it's gonna be a great journey for me god willing you know gonna be just amazing so yeah I'm at a restaurant now I'm only finished now it's like almost six o'clock and I'm having my first and last meal yeah working well gotta love it I mean it's, it's the industry that I want to be in so that's the plus that's what makes me okay with the headache that I have right now and me not eating I didn't even think about food I wasn't hungry until now and I, was, I stopped working so yeah it was fun I loved it back home finally finally back home still have a slight headache but that's okay cuz I'm home guys my day was so hectic that I didn't even get a chance to take a selfie that's how hectic my day was and I stayed taking selfies, you know. But speaking of selfies, I got me a selfie. Well, I didn't get it for myself. My sister got me a selfie stick. Selfie stick. A selfie stick. Selfie stick. Oh, selfie stick. I love it. I love it. It just makes life so much easier. Like vlogging, my arm is not gonna get cramps anymore. No more cramps, yo. Love my selfie stick. Ah! <laughs> okay, so um, it's Monday. I really vlog on Monday, but um, I just had to share with you just a bit, you know, of my day and what um what it included but yeah i started work guys you know and this this is nice it's nice now i'm just gonna chill and go to bed mm -hmm. i'm in love with my selfie stick i'm in love with my selfie stick okay um <laughs> never mind if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up oh wait Okay. Thank you. And then uh, subscribe to my channel and share my channel with your friends and your family. And also, um, follow me on Twitter. Yes, Twitter at Motherland B. Follow me on Instagram at Motherland underscore B. And also go on over to Facebook. Yes, I still use Facebook. Oh my gosh. Because, I mean, Motherland B has a page, you know, and it is www.facebook.com forward slash Motherland B. And I'll see you guys next week. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, bye. Seriously. Love you. Oh my, 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 I'm feeling high, my money's gone, I'm all alone, too much to see, 
the world keeps turning. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Peace and blessings manifest with every lesson learned.